I want to be the very best, or at the very least adequate. Oh hi, welcome back, episode 30. Uh, when last we left off, I picked up Beanbag the Snorlax. I gotta look at him, I just gotta look at him. Oh, so beautiful. And then we almost lost him, because um, there was a very, very angry electrode, and Screech plus self-destruct equals bad time. But he's still hanging in there, strong, you know, large and in charge. Bud got to level 30, so now we are moving that experience around as we continue our journey towards Fuchsia. My bird Pokemon wants to scrap. All right. Well, get ready to catch these hands. This would be a great fight for Usain Jolt, but Usain Jolt has enough experience. Uh, and the benefit of having Falcor here is that he's also flying type, so it's not like we're gonna have to deal with too much damage coming his way. Especially not if I outspeed and one-shot <laughs> the trainer. Oh, dang, Falcor. You just... You want to win it today. Beautiful. <laughs> Ain't keeping no more birds now. My bird combo lost? It's not like a Yu-Gi-Oh player. My unbeatable strategy! That was supposed to be Joey Wheeler. I just rewatched all of the available Yu-Gi-Oh! episodes on Netflix. I love that show so much. I'm told I'm good for a kid. The bigotry of low expectations. This is ageism in action, folks. This poor junior trainer has suffered a grievous harm. Bonk. 29, please. I guess not yet. Now, I still remember that time Meowth almost gave me a trouncing uh, west of Lavender, so trying not to take this one lightly. Slash is no joke. It's such a good move. Nice. Good job, bud. Oh, wait, you're Falcor. Haha, -ha, get it. could have called Falcor Om Nom because I just keep biting everything. Ooh. What Pokemon would be a good name? Oh, that was Pikachu? Well, we don't want to leave Falcor out. Four times effective is not how I want to go out today. Beanbag. Yeah, what Pokemon would have a good name of uh, Om Nom? Try to keep it in Gen 1, Gen 2, because I know Mawile would be good, but like... Ooh. No. <laughs> Is this it? Ooh. That's it. Good job, Falcor. Oh, I lost! You did. You did. Now we gotta go through this labyrinth over here. It's interesting, this game is meant to, oh, wait, hold on a second. Where is it? Is it here? There it is. Uh, the idea of this labyrinth is that it's supposed to like punish you if you don't get through it the most efficacious route. You're going to have to fight a bunch of unnecessary trainers, but I purposely go through here to make sure I can wring every last bit of trainer XP out of this as I can. <laughs> because grinding is so painful, and if you do it this way, if you make good use of the trainers, you get to grind less because of that trainer XP bonus. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can see that... Um, Trainers have higher level Pokemon than just Pokemon that are native to the region, right? So it stands to reason then that fighting them will not only give you money, but will also give you more XP. So you can level up faster than if you were just grinding in the 
uh, tall grass. So the hope is that you can maintain a fairly consistent squad throughout the game. Uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. Um, so that way, when you're beating up on these trainers, all that good, good XP is going to them, and then you have to spend less time just fighting randos. I was divvying up the moveset there just to make sure that I would have enough power points for all my moves, but... Sorry, give me a little bit of trouble there. You don't have it in you to take me out, do you? 42 health is a lot of health for you to drop. This growl is hurting me worse than I thought it would. <laughs> ah, you flinched. Two for flinching. There you go. Okay. Wow, you totally won! Mm -hmm. Oh, and from the payday, right. Okay, on we go. Wow, your badges are too cool! I don't know why I went shaggy with that. Good old Norval. I want one. <laughs> like, that is a water type I would really like to have on my team, is a uh, Polyrath. I don't think the sub fighting type is gonna do me a whole lot of good, uh, except for the fact that, you know, he's, he's a strong boy. Stats are solid, move pool's pretty good. That's why I want a Polyrath. So I'm not using my super rod now until I can figure out where the highest odds of pulling a polywag are. I think it's Celadon, but I could be wrong. Not enough. It's never enough. Never, never. Still doing good. Running out of power points. Uh, Falcor could really do with being 31s. I can move in someone else. Do you want to Pokemon with me? Do you want to Pokemon with me? So Pokemon is the verb. We're diagramming this sentence. Um, probably not. No. Oh, it's a beauty. Probably yes. But she mains Clefairy. Probably not. Clefairy and Jigglypuff both have a pretty high HP pool, but... That's fine. As normal types. Oh, don't. With your life lasting techniques, just just stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Save bite for bigger Pokemon. Uh oh. Keep my eye on that. Ooh. Eh, never mind. It's over already? <laughs> Wish that was the first time I heard that. <laughs> uh. Sure, I'll play with you. You will also be disappointed. Precocious little rat. Ooh. There we go. And we don't mess with electricity. Bean bag, you're in again. <laughs> Rude. You know what, we're gonna leave Beanbag in for a second. Yeah, that's fine. 
So let's... Let's sleep off that paralysis and get my health back. With any luck, the Rattata won't score in too heavy of hits while I'm doing this. Oh, dang it. I meant to use the Poker Flute. The strategy works if, you know, you know what you're doing <laughs> and are paying attention. Oh, you missed. Well, that's fortunate. So it didn't do much for my health, but at least we got rid of that Paralyze without having you as a Paralyze heal. Oh, you little brute! Here we go. Did I... I faced you already, right? I can't remember. As I said, we're gonna keep backtracking to make sure we get all the trainer XP. Uh-huh, yeah, cool. Doo -doo -doo. And then these two were over here. Is there an item in here? Let's find out together. I don't think there is, because we would have seen it. Oops. I think that technically counts as our encounter, but it is a duplicate, so I'm getting out on this one on a technicality. Ooh. Maybe that should have been in the bingo sheet. Wasted an encounter. Yes, yeah, I have not forgotten the bingo sheet. We haven't fully qualified for things on there yet, although I think we've about hit the tipping point on some of them, so soon enough. If I pull you away from there, I can sneak behind you. The wind's blowing my way. I don't know why I made him a pirate. More burbs. I get it, dude. When I get old, I want to just have a whole room just filled with birds. No cage, just a bunch of, like, finches in a room, all to themselves. I did not mean to splash, but that's hilarious. Falcor is less amused. Spiro is less amused. Okay. Okay, okay. I get it. Yeah, it was a mistake. Chill. Here, sorry, Falcor. But yeah, man, a whole room full of birds, my bird room. I keep telling my wife when I retire I'm going to have a bird room, and she keeps telling me, sure, if we, we can afford a house big enough that you can have an extra room just for birds, you can have a bird room. So challenge accepted on that. I should get it in writing, but challenge accepted. Ooh. All that for one Spiro. are just laying into Falcor. Stop being so mean to my luck dragon. You guys aren't even worth the experience. Thank you for finally wasting a turn. Y'all, I gotta tell you, like, that 5% miss chance. I really wish that I could be going up against trainers that have like one or two Pokemon that are like more evolved. So you get a lot of experience in one shot than going up against trainers that have like five or six, like level 23 Pidgeys. The juice is not worth the squeeze. All right, well. Not take that chance. Is Falcor falling off? Is Gyarados not late game? 
I'll have to look that up. I was pretty sure uh, Gyarados could carry you into the late game, as evidenced by the fact that there's a Gyarados in the Elite Four. We'll see. My roster's starting to get so deep now. Maybe. The wind turned! Arr! Let's see what we got here. Okay. Two dinguses on my level down there. So many trainers to get through. Holy cow. We're not getting a fuchsia today. You need to use TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon. I know, but I have to save them until the Elite Four, because if my Pokemon faint, they're gone forever. You don't know my struggle. You don't know my life. You mock my pain! Get out of my room, Mom. Well, that's not gonna save you. Bro, sub flying type. Get good. <gasps> A Doduo! Oh, that's precious. You cannot tell me that's not cute. I love how the smaller head has his mouth open like, hey. That's a, that's a precious bird right there, and now I'm going to crush it. Dodrio can be pretty gnarly too. Uh, it learns Drill Peck, and Drill Peck is really, really good in Gen 1. I might have made a mistake. I didn't. Yeah, if he had used Fury Attack, it had crit and he hit enough times, I might have lost Falcor just there. So technically, I still made a mistake. It just didn't cost me anything. That's how I should have stated that. Falcor, B31, man. You're almost out of moves. Thank you. Hey, you were 28 when we started this journey uh, down this stretch of road, so you're doing okay. Oof. Let's see if we can get through with that. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. Not good enough. I feel like I've seen that at least three times in the last couple of episodes. Alright. Now we get to put beanbag in the lead for a little bit. Let's see if we can get him body slam. Come on, Nessa. And hey, welcome to the gym. My bird Pokemon should be ready for battle. I, I love his, like, spiky mohawk. Looks like a character from Cobra Kai. Oh, man. That show, I watched it, um... I found ways to watch it when it was on YouTube Red, that ill-fated <laughs> network. Um, and then I was so glad when it got bought out by Netflix, so that way, you know, I could use a legitimate subscription to watch it and not feel, you know, like I'm going to get scurvy. It's, it's, I don't think it's a good show. I think it's, I think it's trash, but it's my kind of trash. Just soap opera bullshit. Oh, so good. So bad. I don't want to keep wasting headbutts, so let's swap out. There you go. Uh, Firo. Okay. Great animation, great cry. And by animation, I mean sprite, sorry. Ooh. There we go. Hell yeah. Body slam? No, body slam is next level, I think. Not ready yet. No estoy listo indeed. Uh, have not bought you yet. What are you looking at? 
What are you looking at, ass ass? Nothing, sir. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at <laughs> I I don't. Again, the anime hair, loving that. It's just this pose, this very Akira pose. Butchered the pronunciation, do not care. Oh, I forgot that headbutt can make you flinch. Oh, that's so good. Beanbag is so good. I don't think, um, I don't think I'm gonna get body slammed before I run out of moves. That's kind of sad. So, looks like I'll have to be training him up more later. But yeah, as I said, uh, we're coming up on a grinding episode anyway, so please, by all means, leave me any questions that you have. Um, they could be on any subject, uh, as I said in my introduction. I'll answer them as best I can. Dang, stripped gears. In the past, we've had uh, Pokemon-related questions where, um, such as if I wanted to start a gym, what type of Pokemon would I specialize in and why? That was a really fun question to answer. Um, or if I could learn four Pokemon moves, what would they be? Uh, really great questions. Had a lot of fun answering them. So if you've got questions you want to see answered, uh, engagement, please let me know. I'd be happy to do that. But we are going to cut here for now. Thank you, as always, for joining me again, this time on episode 30. Uh, I had fun. Things seem to be going pretty well. Maybe we'll finally get to Fuchsia next episode. Time will tell. But I hope you leveled up with me on this session. Uh, I look forward to evolving with you in the future. And as always, I'll smell you later. <laughs>